had last week. Similar, wasn't it? Similar in that uh, you know, a combination of uh, some naivety from us. A combination of some naivety from us and then, uh, you know, a, a poor start from, from us was uh, made it a similar type of game. You, you competed hard again. It was just that Italy were able to take their moments when they were there, didn't they? Yeah, I won't. I, mean, I won't. I won't say some of their tries in, in the opening exchange were, were fluky. They weren't, but uh, you know, just some unfortunate events leading up to the actual pass or the kick that created the try. Uh, but you, again, I, I tell you, I sit here and you know the local coach of the team. I, I'm not seeing a team that gives up through the game, and that's pretty heartbreaking, really, because you know they concede tries and. You know, we, we end up kicking off to them a lot. Um, yeah, each time they put themselves back together and go down the, the bottom end of the field thinking that they're in the, in the fight. Uh, we had some wins out there and it, it didn't equal a score. You know, we, we would have liked to maybe register one or two tries. But that's not to say there weren't some moments in there which made me extremely proud. And I reckon there's four occasions where Italy should have scored a try. And the only reason we didn't, they didn't score the tries because we defended it. You know, put our bodies in some really dark places, some blokes left on the deck, yet we stop the ball and, and stop the try. So, you know, that's where you build teams, and that's where, you know, the next game that we're going to, and certainly the next campaign that we have, all these experiences are going to be good for us. Is that really what you're looking at? Is it four years from now? For sure, for sure. That's, uh, you know, and I said last week in Fiji, and it, and it matters more each time we lose like this. But uh, at some stage, if you want to develop a game, You've got to play some some American boys, and you know, the, without highlighting them at all. But there are limitations about what our squad's capable of. You know, in terms of winning the World Cup, there's certainly some limitations of the possibilities of that. But then the game will grow. Uh, more people will play play the game. People will, will know more about rugby league in America. So, while the objective while we're out here is to win as many games as we can, and who knows what might happen if we if we was to qualify. Uh, the, the, the object, one of the big objectives is to uh, is to make the game bigger than it than it was before we started in America. Do you think as well, Mark? Do you see there there are positives there that you can take back? Yeah, yeah, exactly what we said last week. I think that was a better game for us than, than Fiji. Some some of the patches there were you know really good, um, creating overlaps and uh, make, making some breaks. But we we can't turn it over on first and second tackle and expect you know. Middles to keep keep backing up like that, and we ended up yeah, we ended up on the deck a lot, and they, they they were killing us through there. But um, yeah, exactly what Max said. It's we're going to keep you know keep growing the game. We, we've got to play American players, and um, they're going to keep taking this back there. Hopefully, a few more teams pop up, and next two years down the track, the next qualifiers will be stronger, and then next World Cup, if we qualify for that, will be even stronger. It's important, particularly when you're, you're skipper and you've got a number of American born and bred guys there, you really need to drill that into them, that you're going to get better and be better for this experience. Yeah, they, they know. I mean, I don't know if you saw them after the game. They're not, they haven't let their heads down like they just lost a grand final. It's an experience for them. They know it's an experience for them. And um, us heritage players know, knew it was going to be tough. We never, you know, we, we knew it was going to be hard on it. I'll just, I'll just jump on that point. That it's not hard for them, American boys. They, they love it. You know, Tedexo made, made a break down the right there and David Ultz was chasing him. And, uh, and half missed him, but then I think Junior Vi Vi, Vi tackled him. He got up off the deck, and it was Ulchi again that actually made the tackle, which you know was involved in forcing the error. They, they love all that, you know. They're they're loving this experience. The tough, the tough yards are for these men that that you know uh, were born in America, but they've grew grown up in Australia as you know proper genuine rugby league players, and they have expectations. Junior Vi Vi and, and Beretta have have ambitions about doing something in the World Cup. And they're, you know, they're ranking alongside some fellas who are, uh, who again have some limitations. And we knew all this. And I'm not, again, I don't want this to sound like I'm singling any of the American boys out. We, but it is hard to answer questions about, well, you know, how do you think you went and what did you do when we understand what our limitations were to start with. I'm just hoping that the, that when writing this up, there's a little bit of uh, homework gone into it about where the group came from. The group probably should never ever qualify in 2015, but we did. We played well above our weight, punched well above our weight. So, so it's for these men. I, I feel that uh, with the Aussie accents, that they, you know, they want to go do something special. The American boys are loving this. They're loving the whole experience. They're loving the fact that we, you know, one of them said the other day that uh, I asked him how he was going. He said the training's hard, isn't it? And it isn't. 
the training isn't isn't hard at all, is it? Is it? Uh, but they've never woke up, done a day's training, gone back to bed, and done it again, and done it again, and done it again. Now he's been doing it all his career, so they, you know they're going through all these experiences that they've never gone through before, and you know going to make them better players, but certainly make them make them more aware of the game. How did Fiji compare to Italy, Mark? Fiji's a lot harder. Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, I know there's, there's close to score lines or whatever, but I've never been as sore in a game <laughs> after playing Fiji. It was a hell of a good. Um, I don't know. We'll see how they go against Wales tonight. I guess. Yeah, it'll be a good game next week, Italy and Fiji. A guy that seemed to shine for me was your, your fullback Corey had Corey, some really yeah. magical moments. He's, yeah. I mean, he's a guy that's looking for a contract and all that. Sort he, of he is. Yeah, he is. He's unlucky. He hasn't. I don't think he's played much New South Wales Cup. He played down at Mounties in the grade below. Uh, he's only, he's really young. Um, he's obviously got a lot of talent. If someone picks him up and he gets coached properly and you know does a full preseason or something, he could anything could happen. He doesn't need coaching. Yeah. He's a good player. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't need coaching. He's just one of those fellas that you put a ball in his hands and drop him on a field and whatever scenario it is, he reads it right. Mm -hmm. He's a goer. He's uh, a really rated. When this guy's playing like he did, do you enjoy watching that? He seems to have the game of his life. I would guess. Yeah, if he's. Uh, he, you know, to perform like he did, given uh, how much lack of field position we had, he was always a threat. I'm sure, there was always a threat. I really enjoyed the final exchanges where, where we kept them from scoring that final try. And uh, it means nothing really in the grand scheme of things, but to us, it's, it's a lot that we kept them below 50. You know, we giggle a little bit that we're thinking, let's keep them below 50, you know, but that's that's where it's at. And and with that level of desire, you can't coast that. That's hard to that's hard to get into a group of players. Thank you, everyone. Mark, there was uh, probably the biggest year of the night was a hit you put on Tedesco. How, how much did you enjoy that? Oh, I, I just ran into him. I don't think it, it was that. Oh, I can't tackle to save myself. I just, I just ran into him and laid on him. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> cool guy. Yeah. On the highlights, really. Oh, for so my highlights, really. Yeah, for sure. Be showing the kids. It's the follow up on the ground that I that I enjoyed. You give him a bit of follow up on the yeah, ground. Yeah. A bit yeah. of extras. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, guys. Just thank you. Thanks.